Hey everybody, Donna Lewis here with Breathe Life Ministries and it is our Transformed Tuesday. So um, I'm just going to wait and see if any of y'all are able to jump on here and join the discussion. We're going to be going through, so as, as I've said before, with Transform Tuesday, we take a look at Toxic to Transformed, 100 Words of Life to Renew the Mind, and we take one of the words out of there, and we have a live interactive discussion and devotional on that subject. So I'm just going to wait and see who all joins me here gonna give you a minute to see who who jumps on here it's turning into a glorious day here in Tennessee got the Sun out let's see well I tell you what we're gonna go ahead and get rolling and if you join again i'm doing this via zoom so that i can share screen with you uh, and go through some slides it, if you do jump on here and i don't see you right away it's because there is a little bit of a delay in the feed between zoom and facebook live um, but I will be checking in and I will be responding to your comments and your questions. Please do answer the questions and go ahead and interact, even if you are watching this as a recast, okay? Because again, like I always say, your comments, your questions are going to minister to more than just yourself. They're going to minister to everyone who happens to jump on and watch this and um, you're going to ask questions that are going to minister to somebody's heart you're going to make feedback and comments that is going to minister to someone's heart so please go ahead and um, even if you're watching this on the replay uh, make your comments and ask your questions and i will respond to them okay well with that i'm just going to say a quick word of prayer Heavenly Father, I thank you and I give you praise. I thank you and give you praise for your word. I thank you and give you praise that you make us new in Christ Jesus. And you supply us with your perfect power and strength and love. In Jesus' name, amen. So, what I'm going to do here is I am going to share the screen with you. And let's see here. There we go. And what I want to do is, this always happens. Um, there we go. There we go, now I got it. <laughs> Alrighty, so again, this is Transform Tuesday and we are diving into uh, Toxic to Transformed 100 Words of Life to Renew the Mind. All right, so here's my gotta know question. This is just a fun way of getting to know every know each other and um, I want to know what is the next item on your bucket list that list of things that you have to do before you die <laughs> for me my big bucket list item is to ride coast to coast on my motorcycle I want to take a coast to coast trip east coast to west coast on my motorcycle and I only want to do back roads I don't want to do any freeway I don't want to do any highway no toll roads I want to do the back roads 
from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean. And actually, I want to make a circle, so I want to do a loop, which means and back home again. <laughs> so what is the next item on your bucket list? Go ahead and put that in the comments. All right. So we are going to be taking a look at, and I need to move. I hope that isn't in your way there, gang. I want to move. Ah, oops. Let's go back. There we go. So we're looking at word number 13. And just a second here. I want to, there we go. I want to move my little face out of the way here so it's not right. There we go. Let me just blow that up. It's word number 13. It's new life, new allies. The old is dead and gone forever, along with toxic shame and guilt. This new life is so beautiful, so glorious. It is a life of pure love, pure power, pure strength of mind. It is a life full of faith in all God is capable and willing to do on your behalf. It is a life where the entire force of heaven is rooting for you, empowering you, and equipping you to fulfill your calling. You cannot lose. The scripture is Colossians 2, 6, and 7 from the New Living Translation. And now, just as you accepted Christ Jesus as your Lord, you must continue to follow him. Let your roots grow down into him and let your lives be built on him. Then your faith will grow strong in the truth you were taught and you will overflow with thankfulness. I'm gonna blow this slide up again. Let's look at that pure love, pure power, pure strength of mind. When you come into Christ Jesus, you are not the same person. The Word of God says that we've, when, when we make a choice to receive Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, the life that we had been living, which is dead. It's dead in selfishness. It's dead in all of its malice and hatred. It's dead in its rebellion against God and its determination to live for self and self alone. Toxic selfishness. That life is a dead life. It is, it's like being a zombie in one of those zombie movies. It may be walking around, but it's dead. When we make a choice to receive Jesus Christ into our life. We are raised from the dead and we walk in a brand new life. The life of Christ Jesus. 
And that life is a life of pure love, pure power, and pure strength of mind. Let's look at it from another perspective. When I was studying and preparing for this um, Transform Tuesday, I really liked how the Amplified Bible uh, quoted Colossians 2, 6 through 7. As you have therefore received Christ, even Jesus the Lord, so walk. Regulate your lives and conduct yourselves in union and conformity to him. Have the roots of your being firmly and deeply planted in him, fixed and founded in him, being continually built up in him, becoming increasingly more confirmed and established in the faith, just as you were taught, and abounding and overflowing in it with thanksgiving. This is all made possible through the power of the Holy Spirit. Now with that, I just want to take a quick peek here, see if anybody's jumped on board. Says so anybody joined me? Okay. All right. So like I said, again, in the re if you're watching this in the recast, that is totally cool. And I invite you to um, make your comments and um, share any scriptures that uh, you have. And uh, just go ahead and join the discussion, even if this is in the recast. So with that, I'm just going to jump back over here and blow this up for us and move to the next slide. And that is the journaling question. In what specific area of your life right now can you apply God's love? You know, I was hanging out with uh, my girlfriends today at the coffee shop, and um, we were having a discussion on, on the love of God. And one of my friends, um, Lynette, goes, you know, if we could just really grasp the fullness of the understanding of how deep, how high, how wide the love of God is, it would, it would, it would change every element of our life. Every element of our life would be completely changed and the way we approach it and look at it. You know, Jesus often said to his disciples, why are you so worried? God takes care of the smallest, tiniest little bird and takes special note when one of those birds falls to the ground. And how much more important are you than many birds. So why do you worry? The next question is, where can you apply right now God's power? Think about this for a minute. The same power that said, let there be light, and there was light. The same power that parted the Red Sea, the same power 
that rained bread down from heaven and fed the Israelites, the same power that raised Lazarus from the dead, that raised Jesus from the dead, lives inside of you right now. Where do you need to experience that power right now? And finally, God's strength of mind. God's strength of mind. How often do we fall into that anxiety, that fear that says, I just don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do. Maybe it's a problem you're facing with employment. Maybe it's a problem you're facing with your family. Maybe it's a problem you're facing with your health. And you've got a massive decision or the health of someone you love. And you've got a massive decision you're faced with. And that fear is overcoming you right now. But know this. You don't have to be adequate. Because God is more than adequate. And he is available to you right now. If you can just slow down and take a breath and remember that you have allies, you have the whole host of heaven, God himself and Christ Jesus as your advocate and the Holy Spirit who searches all things, even the very depths of God, at your disposal right now. So, what specific area of your life can you apply God's love, God's power, and God's strength. And let's go one more time back to Colossians. The first premise here is that you have received Christ. So that's the first question to ask yourself. Is Christ Jesus your Lord? Because if he is, you have the whole host of heaven at your back, watching over your back, guarding you, protecting you, and guiding you. You're not alone and empowering you to live your life in victory the same way Jesus Christ lived his life and lives his life now. And as you walk in him, get ever more intimate with him. You do that through the Holy Spirit and being filled every moment and every day on his word. That's truth. Truth that will never fail you. And as you do this, you become 
ever more established in faith and filled with thanksgiving, with praise, with thankfulness, with gratitude. I'm going to leave you with those thoughts today. And before I do, I'm just going to take one more look here, see if anybody's popped on. And with that, I am just going to go ahead and end this live. Again, leave me your comments and I will get back to you and I will respond to them. And meet me back here tomorrow about this same time because Marcella Owen is going to be joining me. She is a life and health coach. You don't want to miss it. God bless. Love you much. Leave me your comments and I will see you tomorrow. Okay. I'm going to stop the live. Well, I gotta stop the share first.